So hey everyone, this is Makan. Welcome to all of you to my channel. So here I am with few questions that may be expected for BRC 2022. So here I am collected very interesting and tricky question. Uh, such type of question is coming in BRC. So I hope you enjoy the session. So let's have a discussion. Okay. So this is a question that I consider from the thermodynamics, and the question is stating that if the temperature and molar volume of one mole of ideal gas is changed from T1 V1 to T2 V2. Then what will the change on entropy? Okay, so this is a very in uh, fundamental question from thermodynamics point of view, and interesting also. So let's try it. So the temperature was T1 and volume was V1. The temperature is changes to T2 and volume is changes to V2. So what will change in entropy? This is the question. So your entropy is equal to integration over dQ by T. Okay. So use the first law of thermodynamics that is Q equal to U plus P B. So your dQ will be dU plus P D V okay, so your D U will be C V D T and your P U will be N R T by V over D V because you know ideal gas equation is P V equal to N R T so I replace P as N R T by V so put this D Q over the here so your entropy will be integration over C V D T over T uh, plus integration N R T over T by V over D V. So T T is get cancelled here. Integration over T one to T two, and the integration here is V one to V two. So finally, you will end with C B L N T two by T one plus N R T L N V two by V one. So T T cancel. So here there is no T. So N R L N V two by V one. So C B L N T two by T one plus N R L N V two by V one. So option C will correct answer to the question. So hope you got the point. So the next question is from the quantum mechanics and is stating that A is a normalized eigen state of Hamiltonian S. So describing a linear harmonic oscillator of energy n plus one by two h square omega and the normalized wave function is given as psi is equal to one by root five two into first state one minus second state two. So will it be a eigen function of Hamiltonian? So you have to check if it is a Hamil uh, eigen function of Hamiltonian, then it is should have obeyed the Uh, this relation that is e should be the energy eigen value so now operate h over psi so h over psi means 1 by root 5 or make it 2 by root 5 over first state minus 1 by root 5 over second state okay so as you know energy is given n plus 1 by 2 h square omega so it will be 2 by root 5 first state n equal to 1 it will be 3 by 2 h square omega minus 1 by root 5 for second state 2 it will be 5 by 2 h square omega So if you rearrange it, so you can take uh, uh, like one by two common, and it will be two by root five, three into h uh, h square omega also taken common. State one will be there and state two will be there. So three into first state minus five by root five second state. So this is not the eigen function of uh, or the state remain as usual. So the state is changes. Okay. So this condition is not satisfied. So it will not a eigen function of Hamiltonian. So option D will be correct because condition is like that. Whenever you operate something on a state, there the state should be remain unchanged with a with a eigen value. There should be a eigen value with it. Okay. But here the eigen function get changes. Here three is coming out and here five is coming out. Okay. It changes the eigen function. So it should not be a eigen function of Hamiltonian. Okay. The next question is very tricky. And the question is stating that A is a three-three matrix, so A is a three cos three matrix, and determinant is five. So determinant of A is five. Okay. So what will the determinant of two A? So you know if this is matrix and I normalize it, then its eigen value will be like this diagonalized position, and this will be zero zero. So your determinant will be lambda one. Lambda two into lambda three. Okay, so now you multiply this matrix with two. So your new matrix will be in the form like two lambda one. Okay, it will be two lambda two and two lambda three. So now your determinant become two into two into two. That is eight lambda one lambda two lambda three. And your lambda one lambda two into lambda three. Your determinant of A that is given as five. So it will be eight into five. Okay, so it will be eight. Eight into five, that is forty. Okay, so answer will be forty to the question. So forty is the right answer. Next question is from solid state physics, 
and is stating that uh, there is a structure factor of FCC. Okay, FCC structure factor. And this is the general formula of the structure factor. Then uh, which of the following set of Bragg's reflection not occur in the diffraction? It is very easy. For FCC, check your all HKL should be even or all should be odd. Okay. So here all is odd. Here is all is even. Here is all is even. So this is very allowed. Here all is odd. Here uh, all is even. All is even. So this is all allowed. Uh, so here is uh, even and odd is mixed. Here even and odd are mixed. Here even and odd are mixed. So this set is not allowed. So C is not allowed. Here all even, all even, all odd. So D is allowed. So option C is not allowed. Not allowed. Okay. So this will be the answer to the question. So the next question is from the alpha decay and the reaction is given like this and uh, the stating uh, statement is like emitted alpha particle observed to have energy uh, 5.17 mega electron volt so this is the kinetic energy of the alpha particle that is 5.17 mega electron volt so what will the q value so direct you know kinetic energy of alpha particle is equal to q into 1 minus 4 by mx and this mx is the mass of this plutonium that is 240 so here mx is equal to 240 so put this value and you calculate what will be your q value okay so this is the formula and uh, you had a question of 5 marks from this formula in csr net this year so the next question is from mathematical physics so your real part of u uh, complex function uxy is given as x plus 1 by 2 x square minus y square so what will the imaginary party part so imaginary part so your CR condition is like del u by del x equal to del v by del y and your del u by del y is equal to minus del v by del x so use this two formula uh, you can have your imaginary part v okay so next this is a question from uh, you can say solid state physics but it is linked to statistical mechanics so consider a vibrating solid okay Einstein solid you can say where uh, atoms are like behaving like a quantum harmonic oscillator this is the concept nothing else the Helmholtz free energy will be so straightforward question is there so it is not stating about 1d or 2d so consider it like a one dimensional so your one dimensional quantum harmonic oscillator the partition function become e to the power minus beta h square omega by 2 over 1 minus e to the power minus beta h square omega so you can have your Helmholtz free energy f equal to minus n k b t ln z so put this z here and simplify it very well so how you have your answer with you okay so thank you so much for watching my video i hope your preparation is going well so stay tuned with my channel be confident i hope, I hope you are well and your preparation well so all the best to all of you thank you so much